Man, I should really make an intro for my videos. Oh, what's up? Uh, today we're going to be doing a tutorial about HDRI lighting using V-Ray. I have seen this question come up many times around the internet and I've learned about it myself. Some people have methods of using dome lighting, uh, other settings, and the render settings for V-Ray. But I think it's just easier to do it the way that I'm about to show you. Alright, so let's get on to it. First thing we're going to want to do is create an object. Alright, so we got our nice little sphere right here. Yeah, let's create a floor while we're at it. There we are. And let's go into our render settings. Let's hit general, V ray. Your bridge is right there whenever it comes up. Oh, look at that. There's a sign saying uh, my computer has detected something with low performance and it's slow. Well, computer, what was your first guess? Indirect illumination. Just go ahead and cut that on. And for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to put this on very fast. Exit that out. Alright, now if you're new to V-Ray, when you create a sphere or any primitive object like this, in order for it to be viewable whenever you go to render out, you have to customize it or otherwise pressing C to make it edible. Alright, now let's create ourselves a new material for it. Go to our diffuse layer, bump that, blue's a good color, let's make it blue, hit ok, and let's give it some reflection, drag that up to about 84 is fine, yeah that's looking pretty good. Alrighty, and now we want to place an HDRI in here. So go into my whoa, that's a cluttered desktop. Uh, yeah, so cluttered, I can't even find the image I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. What do you know? Just drag that in there, and we'll just hit yes so that it gets out of our face. Double click on it. Click on the little arrow, copy channel, hit the X, go to file, V-Ray, advanced material. Uh, when you're doing HDRI lighting, turn diffuse layer off, otherwise it will not work. I have ran into this problem many times. Oh, look at that, my computer's going slow again. Yep, there's the message. Alright, so paste channel. That's going to load up whenever it does. We'll just go ahead and exit out of that. Well, it might help if we turn that on. It, just saying. Hit X. And we're going to create a sphere. And we're going to make it... 90,000, yes, insert the over 9,000 meme right here if you want. Oh, uh, one thing I do need to go over, because I just ran into this not too long ago. When you do put in your texture, you may get just a white circle right here. Uh, just go into the luminosity layer transparency and just turn that down to zero. And then your image should show up right there. And since you want this to be seen, we're just going to hit C on that. And just drag that right there. It's coming up black now, but it'll be all good in the end. And I want you, and we're going to drag you right there. Let's 
go ahead and place you somewhere. That's nice. Uh, set that to 100 so it's right on the ground. All right, control R to render. All right, it's rendering. It has our HDRI image in the background. And if you don't want that, we can always tag it. All right, and there you go. We got your nice HDRI image in the background. We got our floor right here. It's creating some nice shadowing and we have our reflections all right so that is it for this tutorial i am core gfx productions and i shall see you next tutorial all right take care